Are you stuck trying to figure out an idea for your next game? Or maybe it's your first game? One of the most common questions we get is, how can I come up with good video game ideas? There's nothing worse than being creatively stuck. You could have your pen and paper in front of you, your canvas or your dev environment open and ready to code, but there's nowhere to go if you don't have that spark to inspire you and an idea to work towards. In this video, we'll look at different ways that can help you find that spark. We'll look at different sources for inspiration, talk about some real world examples, and also share some tools and resources designed specifically for getting you your next game idea. We are Ask Game Dev, and these are eight ways to come up with video game ideas. Welcome back. We make videos on how to elevate your game development and inspire others. If after watching this video you want to continue the game dev conversation, check the video description for a link to our Discord server. We're now making fresh Ask Game Dev content on all of the major social networks, so be sure to check us out there too. Number 1. Participate in a Game Jam One of the best things you can do for your game dev journey is to participate in game jams. Not only do they give you some great experience and content for your portfolio, but they are also a breeding ground for generating innovative game ideas. If you've never participated in a game jam before, basically they're a timed event where devs get together in person or online and build games around a certain theme or set of constraints. After the games are submitted, devs and players alike try out the titles, provide feedback, and vote for their favorites. One of our favorite jams is the GMTK Game Jam from Game Maker's Toolkit. The GMTK Jam is an online 48-hour yearly jam that is known for its clever themes. Past jam themes include Out of Control, Only One, Genre But You Can't Mechanic, and Downwell's Dual Purpose Design. You can see how the themes alone can inspire really creative ideas. In fact, there have been even devs that have continued to work on their titles after the jam and launch their games on other platforms. That's not uncommon though, there are a number of popular games that were first inspired during game jams. Some you may have heard of include Baba Is You, winner of the Nordic Game Jam 2017. Titan Souls, winner of Ludum Dare 28. and Superhot, created for the 7-day FPS Game Jam Challenge. If you're in need of some inspiration for your game, we definitely recommend starting with Game Jams. Check out this video for more Game Jam recommendations. Number 2. Scope Your Project They say that necessity is the mother of invention. What kind of game can you realistically create? Ask these questions to find out what constraints you might have. How big is your team? Is this a solo project? What skills do you and your team have? Of the skills you're missing, what can you reasonably learn or outsource? What dev kit do you have access to? What software do you know how to use? What are the constraints of the software? For example, does your engine support 2D games, 3D games, publishing to mobile, publishing to console? How much time do you and your team members have to dedicate to this? Knowing these constraints will help you form your idea. Number 3. Go through the video game vault. Play through the classics. Have an old video game collection? Take a stroll through memory lane and play your favorite games from previous generations. Don't have a collection? The good news is that today, retro games are more accessible than ever. Between all the new micro consoles, Steam, and the Nintendo eShop, exploring hits from the past has never been more convenient. When playing, ask yourself, what made these games great? Are there any gems forgotten in time that you could borrow elements from or even modernize with your own spin? Ask Game Dev community member game Gravity Ace was inspired by games like Thrust and Gravatar. Super Blood Hockey was inspired by the NES classic Ice Hockey and some of Cuphead's boss designs were inspired by action platformers of the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis eras. Number 4. Reddit Game Ideas How about using someone else's game idea? There's a subreddit made just for this. They say ideas are a dime a dozen, but these ones are actually free. 
The Game Ideas subreddit is 40,000 members strong and describes itself as a place to post ideas for games you'll never make yourself. There are some pretty neat and clever ideas here. Some of the top posts from last year include a game where the day restarts over and over again, like Groundhog Day, but you play as a different character every time. A game where you are a ghost in a cemetery that can enter the graves of dead people and change their past. And a 2D fantasy game in which you cook and invent new recipes for your town restaurant during the evening, but every morning you forage and hunt for exciting new ingredients in the wildlands. Head over to reddit.com slash r slash game ideas to check it out. We'll leave a link in the description. Number five, find inspiration in activities and content outside of the video game bubble. A lot of great game designers were inspired by things outside of the gaming world. The creator of Pokemon, Satoshi Tajiri, was inspired to create the game from his interest in insect collecting as a child. After taking up gardening, Shigeru Miyamoto one day spotted a line of ants marching through his patio, and thus was inspired to create Pikmin. Try doing things outside of your normal routine. Explore a new hobby, watch a movie, or read a book that you would have never attempted before, or visit somewhere completely new to you. Number six, use a generator. Don't know where to begin? Let a generator do it for you. Did you know that the musical artist slash actor Donald Glover used a Wu-Tang name generator to come up with his stage name? That's right, he entered his name, it spit out Childish Gambino, and the rest is history. Doing a quick Google search for Game Idea Generator gives us a bunch of results. Let's try some. First up is the Game Idea Generator from BAFTA YGD. The BAFTA generator will give you random elements from five different categories to form a game concept. Environment, the game setting. Goal, the player's objective. Genre, the game style. Rules, obstacles to overcome. And wildcard, a random feature to include. Let's give it a spin and see what ideas it spits out. For our first one, we've got Cave, Remove All Enemies, Arcade, One Life Only, Fairy Tale. So it looks like a roguelike arcade game, potentially a beat-em-up, that takes place in a cave and is set against a fairy tale story. Not bad. Let's try one more. At home, use all items, one touch, limited inventory, fruit. Okay, so this could be a one-touch mobile game about collecting fruit and bringing it back home. It could also be a cooking sim. It could even be a game like Fruit Ninja. Next up on the search results is Random Game Idea Generator from IndieGameDev.net. This one generates a string that contains a combination of elements that could include mechanics, a setting, a theme, and a genre. According to its description, the generator boasts 55,000 different combinations. Let's try a few out. We've got horror survival games set in the 1930s with a theme based on time. Detective beat-em-up games set in the 1970s with power-ups based on jumping. And dystopia rhythm games set in a small town slash village with a theme based on dodging. Not a bad trio of ideas. Let's try one more. The third results bring us to this charming, minimalist generator simply titled Video Game Generator. Let's try a few. An action game where you motivate mascots and also you are a bird. A god game where you make peace with planets through commerce. And a tycoon game where you raise cats to score karma. Also, not a bad trio. If you're starting from zero, a generator with ideas like these can definitely get your creative juices flowing. We'll leave links to each one in the description. Number seven, play a bad game. The game design book Level Up by Scott Rogers has a whole chapter dedicated to game ideas. One tip that we found particularly interesting was play a game, preferably a bad one. In the book, Scott mentions that he finds playing a bad game more educational than playing a good game when it comes to finding game ideas. Playing bad games allows you to look at things that were done poorly and inspires you to think of ways to improve upon them. Number eight, join the community on the Ask Game Dev Discord server. This isn't just a plug. The server has a channel specifically for game ideas. 
In this channel, you can check out other members' interesting game ideas, provide feedback, and even share some of your own. The Ask Game Dev Discord is an awesome community and a great environment for collaboration and growing your ideas. Check out the description for an invite link. Thanks for watching. For more Ask Game Dev, check out this video on how to name your game or this video on game production.